Right, today I'm going to be working on the Norton. This bike's got no spark, it's dead. I'm getting a, a lot of nice parts coming from the US. Getting a new, new one of those. It sits there and holds the air cleaner, which I've got new. Getting a new head. I'm getting a new Kickstarter. New coil. New magneto. Guaranteed for, to get spark. And I've got a lot of other new parts coming for this bike, so yeah, I like I really like working on it to tell you the truth, but I'm gonna be working on this thing today. It's time to throw the magneto on it. I'll take that thing off. I'll, I'll, I'll sell that. That's just a housing for a CDI, which I was gonna have, but no, nah, that's going. Alright, get the first thing I'd undo is take this side cover off. Got to pop the chain off there, but I've got a brand new chain. I've got new sprockets under these bolts. Get that crap out of there. I've already set the, the gear uh, cams down the bottom behind here, so I've got to set the timing to this and then put it back together. I've already got this nut off. See how this is too loose? I've got a new chain. I bought this, it's, an, it's actually adjustable, this sprocket, so I can advance the timing if I like or whatever. I can set the timing. Differently to factory. Normally that's just a fixed go a gear, but I've, I've bought a special one for it, so I can advance the time and give it a bit more go. Got that stripped off. Pull that off there. Mount that little pulley on that. And throw that on over there. But it'd be nice to have some timing marks. I can't find any. You know, we'll see what's going on. Anyway, it's got to be in a certain position, otherwise I won't get timing. We've struck a little snag here. I can get this bolt in. This one here won't go in from an angle, so it looks like I'm going to have to put two studs over the top. I'm going to have to cut these, like I've got these longer bolts. I'm going to have to put them in and get some nuts. I don't have much choice. That must be how they hold them on anyway, so there's no way you can get a bolt in there. Right, right, we're going to have to do that. You know, add these bolts here, they're an inch and a quarter, they're an inch. Yeah, so I chopped this, this off here and made a little start, but it only gives me about 5mm of thread. So what I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to make some longer studs out of these, and I'll just have to get some nuts. I'll be able to at least get it mounted today. So I'll just turn them down there, 5 sixteenths Whitworth coarse. So, yeah, I've got those taps. Dies anyway. Now I've got two studs. I presume that's how they do it. It possibly could even be three studs, but I'm going to use a bolt down the bottom. One magneto all the way from sunny England. Trick little cap thing, NGK. Pretty happy with it. Finally got it bolted on. It was, wasn't easy. I had to make a couple of studs and then even then the nuts only just fit in there. Don't want me putting any fancy nuts on that. That's it, that's how it's going on. I held on the lock tight. Now I've got to do the try and time it. And then I've got I've got nothing on I've got no literature. I can't really find anything on the internet, so pretty much gonna wind it around so it's on the um, inlet intake stroke when the valves are closed I'm going to set the I'm going to set the points at um, 12 valve and cross my fingers hope it's hope it's set if not we'll have to find something else but at least I know it's got spark if you turn that thing it'll give you a belt all right a new yeah. chain on anyway at least it's not floppy I was wondering, starting to think it might have needed an adjuster in there, a tensioner. But I couldn't see any in the, anywhere I looked, so yeah, the new chain fits nice. I haven't 100% finished timing it. I just haven't got time. I've got to do some other work now. But yeah, I'll just put that together. I'm, I'm ha very happy to have it mounted because that's actually off a different type of bike. It's off a Veloset. That Magneto. It looks much better. The way the guy had it, that I had, there was nothing there, nothing at all. He had all the CDI running off this thing, and it was just to stick out like this far. 
Anyway, thank you. I might, I'll probably throw this on a video and keep moving forward. I still haven't painted the oil tank it's sitting over there. And I'm also going to respray this tank. I'm just not happy with it at all. It's okay, but yeah, I'd rather paint it better than that. All right, thanks for that. There it is with the cover back on it. Anyway, thank you. What's what's next is I've got a carbide going on it. It's it'll do for now. It's not the one I'm going to keep have on it permanently, but I'll truck that on. I've got to get some clamps for there. They're two clamps. I can chuck the carbide on, hook up the throttle. It's pretty ready to fire, but I've got to get this oil tank back on. And I've got to plumb it properly. Yeah, I've just got to make sure the oil is going into the engine correctly. It goes down here and it's got to have a feed going up to the head. Once that's all set and I know it's got oil pressure, then I'll fire it up. That's the only thing I'm waiting on. That's pretty much done, basically. Anyway, thank you. Actually, there is one more thing I do have to do is I've got to make a roll starter. Uh, Got some stuff there that I'm going to make it out of. I've just got to buy a couple of couple of little bits for it, and then that's how I'm going to use them to start it. I'm going to have a proper roll starter. Anyway, that'll be the last thing I make for it. 